Welcome back to Talk Little TV. And today, we're going to be talking about the Brownsville baby killers. But before we get into this video, make sure you tap that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on. September 1st, 2013, around 7.30 p.m. in the notorious neighborhood of Brownsville located in Brooklyn, New York. A young father was crossing the street near Bristol and Livonia Avenue with his toddler son, Antique Hennis, whom was tucked in his stroller. Out of nowhere, two shooters appeared, opening fire, striking the toddler in the head. The one-year-old was rushed to Brookdale University Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. During the police investigation, it was reported that the boy's father, Anthony Hennis, may in fact have been the target. Anthony Hennis, a member of G Stone, a set of the notorious Crips street gang, who brags about his involvement in the dangerous crew under his rap name, Loki Smula. Reportedly, police believe that the shooting was related to a disagreement between the suspects and Anthony Hennis though the exact argument in question still has not been revealed. To make matters worse, the gunned down toddler's father refused to cooperate with investigators. On September 17, 2013, Daquan Breland and Daquan Wright were apprehended in a small Pennsylvania town. They were taken into custody only hours after their innocent victim's funeral was held in Brooklyn. At least one person who witnessed the horrifying shooting has fingered Mr. Breland as the shooter. That same witness that identified Mr. Breland as the shooter also said that Mr. Wright was the one to hand him the gun just moments before he fired four shots, one of them into the head of an innocent child. Mr. Breland is said to have boasted of shooting the father, but soon found out otherwise. Breland was sentenced to 25 years to life. Wright was sentenced to 15 years in prison for handing Breland the 45 caliber gun used in the shooting. Just one month after his son's death, Hennis was back on law enforcement's radar for a strong arm subway robbery after he held up a teenager on a number three train in Brooklyn. He was arrested and charged with robbery and assault. Two months later, Antique's mother reported to police that Hennis threatened to shoot her. She was hospitalized after Hennis allegedly physically assaulted her. Fast forward to 2022. Hennis pled guilty to felony possession of a firearm in February. Hennis fired off shots at the corner of Livonia Avenue, sending panicked bystanders on the busy street running. He is facing up to 51 months in federal prison. All right. Let me know if you're from New York and if you remember this story. Luckily for this Loki Smula guy, he isn't going to state prison where his ops would be awaiting his arrival if he dares to make it to state prison at the rate he's going. One would think this guy would have turned his life around by now. Sad story. And this we can call the casualties of an innocent toddler due to gang beef. Once upon a time, it was no women, no kids. You don't get to tell your ops, hey, catch me on another day. I'm with my kids and my family right now. It's free game in the world of gang life. Rest in peace to Antique Hennis. With that being said, jump down in my comments and let me know how you feel about this one. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. It's free. I'll catch you on the next one.